Okay, so real quick, some drums. Two ways to do um, the rolls. You can obviously do the rolls by taking a sample, for instance, this right here, and putting it on the loop. Right, and then you could play it to the track and do it that way. That's probably the easier way. But then for some people, of course that light is hitting there wrong. For some people, they want to go a little bit further. They want more technical, and so they might not choose to go that route. I think I moved the thing. I'm not into editing videos. It's not my bag. Um, so you can use KB1. It's a great app. A couple of things to remember in KB1. I used. Um, you could either just hook it up and do it that way. I use this thing called MIDI Mitter to connect it, but you don't have to. You could just connect it yourself through a different route <clears throat> if you want, if you know how to do that. I'm not going to get into all that connecting part of it. It's not that hard. It was super easy. Um, and then I MIDI mapped by going into settings, hit the map MIDI. I MIDI mapped each one of these pads. These are pads, but they're, you know, that way they go that way. Anyway, to the tracks so I could have, oops, I got the roll on. <laughs> Turn on velocity. Now you got what you don't have in Koala is the ability to you can handwrite the velocity, but you can't get that velocity sensitive pad, which is part of the thing I miss or wish they would fix. Or I should say add to Koala. But anyway, you can draw them in if you want, but you can do that. So you can turn that on. Maybe do your drum and uh Snare first, however you do it. I'm, I'm not, everybody's different on how they work. If you have a, a controller though, you wouldn't even have to worry about the velocity sensitivity, sensitivity. But this is for those that don't have a controller that's doing it straight off the iPad, right? So you drum in and this is what I just put down this drum right here to see. If you need to click timer, put that on, but I'm not worried about it right now. All right, so then you have the roll. In the roll. So you have all your different uh, time signatures for the roll, or you can do a slide where it goes into it. I'm just going to put it on 16ths. But you'll see. So pretty much that's it. I mean, it's not much else to show. Make sure you do set your tempo up here. You can put the tempo in, like in this case, this beat is 137. Because if it's not tempo matched here with this, it's going to end up being off. And you're going to be like, what in the world is going on? So yeah, make sure you do that part. Otherwise, this is a pretty simple video. We're already at three minutes. I can't believe I'm taking that long. So let me go ahead and end it now. But I just wanted to show it's pretty simple. You got your time. The cool thing about Slide, I'll show one more thing. I think I've said this in the past is when you hit at the bottom, you're still getting that one single note. So you could go. But you don't know. I don't know what time signature you're on if you're one of those that need it particularly at a certain one. So it would get kind of confusing. So I would just say it's probably better if you use the actual time signatures and just do your hat separately. Anyway, that's the end of the video. We're at four minutes. I'm done. Have fun. Make music. You know what it's about. All right.